Okay, so I'm doing a quick video on getting the flu and having Parkinson's because I have just sort of um, gone through the recovery and I'm still actually recovering from the flu. I had it like two weeks ago. So these are just my um, thoughts of what happens when I get the flu. Um, the first thing that happens when I get the flu is that I'm not really sure I have the flu. And I can go like a, a whole week or two weeks without knowing for sure. And that's because a lot of times my what I say is that my Parkinson's covers the flu symptoms because a lot of times, like for me, um, it always feels like I have the flu. So you know how you feel like you get like a migraine and pain everywhere and kind of tired? That's kind of like how my everyday Parkinson's is. It's not as bad as it sounds because I just have gotten used to it. And then um, once I do get hit with the cold or the flu, it's pretty bad. And so what happens, you know, it's like the normal stuff that happens with anyone that has the flu. But what I've noticed uh, since I've been diagnosed with Parkinson's is that after the flu stops, I have a long like recovery period because it kind of kicks me into a phase where I have really bad fatigue and right now I have that um, really bad fatigue that I'm trying to recover from so just to give you an explanation of that it's not like being tired uh, I mean I am tired a lot of the times when I have flu but it's more than being tired um, for me like fatigued is it's like I get up and I'm ready to go do something but I don't have the energy to do it so I'll have to like sit down because I don't even have the energy to stand and um, generally I have to watch my activity level anyway because I do suffer from fatigue with my Parkinson's so I do limit what I do to three three things a day and when I have the flu or I'm recovering from the flu and it's kicked me into a fatigue period, I have to go down to doing one thing and that one thing is like a struggle to do that one thing. Um, so that's why I think it's best that I don't get the flu. So I will be getting um, flu shots from this, you know, this period on. Um, I did intend to get a flu shot, it's just that I didn't get it early enough. Another strange thing that happens when I get the flu is that I don't have any Parkinson's pain. And I have no clue why that is because I have pain with my Parkinson's like every day. But I notice that when I do have the flu, I have pain like you normally would have, like nasal pain, like migraine, but not the Parkinson's pain um, that I experience. So maybe the body can just like deal with one type of pain, I don't know. So that was kind of nice. It was like, I felt bad, but I, didn't, I got kind of re relief from my over, um, my uh, usual Parkinson's pain. So yeah, so that's about it. Those are some things I've noticed about Parkinson's. Um, some doctors are saying that Parkinson's uh, might be caused by a generic component and also like a, a simple virus like the flu. So it is best, I think, that we not get the flu. So anything you can do to stay healthy and not be around people that do have the flu. And um, it's up to you about the flu shot. Uh, for years since I was in the holistic field, I kind of didn't agree with having flu shots. But now I feel like I can't take the chance to be sick and have the flu just because it takes so long for me to recover. And like I said, um, because of the fatigue, I haven't been exercising and doing the other things that I need. So there's always the thought that, you know, I might go into a phase where things are so bad that I could progress the disease. So that might sound a little bit dramatic, um, but that's always on your mind when you have a chronic 
condition that can um, or generally does progress even though it progresses at a slow rate. So that's it for today and make sure not to get sick. <laughs>